Yeah, well, if you spend any time out here in the summer, you know that this ferry waiting line here can be just jam-packed with cars all summer long, especially on a holiday weekend. They just cleared out to load up for the boat that's heading out on the Thursday commute, but that's why officials are warning because of these issues, you could see some really long lines coming up this holiday weekend. A cascade of problems could mean a tough holiday weekend for ferry travel. With the Wenatchee out of service because of an engine fire, the shuffle means almost every ferry route is either down boats or using smaller or slower craft. Mark Joy lives on Vashon Island, a route usually served by three ferries, now down to two. Anytime it's, uh, it's down to two, that's, that's usually an inconvenience. Um, and even, even this morning, just driving it to work, um, the, the boat was 15 minutes late and uh, kind of, I don't know, kind of used to it or expected at this point. It's a very challenging time right now. Um, I would consider us in a, a dire situation. It's probably one of the worst we've seen in many, many years. Compounding that, employees out for COVID cases or vaccinations and side effects. They say Ferries also has an aging workforce, so there are more people retiring and COVID precautions have slowed training to replace them. But officials say they're doing their best to prepare for one of the first holiday weekends with fewer COVID restrictions. You know, the, the high travel times, uh, we expect the congestion. There are ways to monitor traffic and, you know, sign up for alerts, get those. You'll, you'll understand the wait times a little better. But the best advice, avoid traveling at peak times at the start and end of the long weekend. Like Mark's planned Friday night dinner in West Seattle. Oh goodness, <laughs> maybe, maybe we should rethink our plans. Um, I think we're gonna at least try to walk on, so try to try to avoid and maybe take an Uber. On the issue of boat numbers, Ferries plans for the next 20 years to do a lot of change. They're replacing 13 boats that need to be retired and adding an additional three to meet what is projected to be the growing demand as our region gets even more people. We're live in West Seattle tonight. Michael Crow, King 5 News.